message from God's Word. Here is Friends Fellowship Assembly online. Where we reveal Christ, rebuild lives, and revive nations. Welcome. Welcome again to our YouTube channel. Uh, we are going to share the Word of God briefly today. And uh, today we read from the book of uh, Job chapter 36, verse 11. The Bible says, If they obey and serve me, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. If we obey and serve God, the Bible says that we shall spend our days in prosperity and our years in pleasure. And uh, I want to talk about the blessedness of serving God. There's a scripture in Malachi where someone is asking, uh, what are we serving God for? What benefit do we get in serving God? And uh, probably not only you, but many other people keep on asking, how can a sane person just leave every other thing, for, forget about every other thing, and, and when you ask them what they do, they tell you that they are serving God. How is that possible? And uh, I will tell you that uh, there are benefits of serving God, they are, when you see people serving God, it's not that they don't have any other thing to do, but it's because of the conviction they have, because of the mandate upon their lives, and because of the love that they have for God. And uh, serving God is not, is not stupidity, it is not timidity, it is not being less educated. In fact, if there are people that I've seen that uh, are excellent in their in their mental system, excellent in their lives, are people who have served God, whether they are educated or not educated. Why? Because there's, there's, there's a renewing of our minds that happen every time we come and, and uh, transform our lives from, from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. And therefore, today I'm just here to encourage someone. Probably you've served God for years. You've served God for years and you're not seeing the benefit of it. The Bible assures us that... Uh, when we obey, not only serve, but obey and serve God, we'll spend our years in, in prosperity. We'll spend our days in prosperity and our years in pleasure. And uh, prosperity, the Bible says that, I wish above all things that you prosper in your, in your health, even as you prosper in your, in your faith. And I'd, I'd want to encourage you as a person that let no one discourage you from you serving God. Probably the, the, you have served God and it's not showing in, in the physical sense. I'll use my example. I've served God for quite a long time. And it reached a point where people kept on asking me, I mean, you have served God for so long. <laughs> what do you have to show? What do you have to show that you have served God? You have not built a church. You have not built a tower. You have not built anything. You have not built a school. And I will tell you that the greatest investment you can have in serving God is impacting people's lives. Because those people will impact other people. The ripple effect will keep on going. And that will be the greatest investment that you will have. So next time someone discourages you that you have served God for years and there is nothing to show, tell them, I know I have impacted lives. I know there are lives that have changed through my ministry. And it is not a must to be a public, a public minister, probably a preacher or a singer that, that is public. Probably even in one-on-one -on -one discipleship. There are lives that have been changed by you serving God, by you responding to that mandate. And therefore, let nothing discourage you. The Bible says that if we obey and serve God, then we will spend our years, in our days in prosperity and our years in pleasure. So, rest in God knowing that your serving God is never in vain. There is no one that has ever served God. David said, I am young, I was young, and now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. I mean, God is a faithful father. He cannot go back to, to against his word. If you serve him faithfully, if we serve him in obedience, we serve him in walking upright, then in due time, we shall see the reward. No one plants a seed today and comes back and watches it tomorrow or after two hours to, to check if it has, it has sprout. It takes time. So your serving is not in vain. I just want to encourage someone out there you have served God for many years. Your family is mocking you. Probably you're not married. You know, born again people at times, the processes that we go through 
At times people don't understand. So don't, don't grow weary because of the words of, of men. Soon your light shall shine. Soon your life shall change. Soon they're the ones who will be giving testimonies on your behalf. So do not despair. Just know that God is faithful to his word. Keep on serving him with zeal. Keep on serving him. Do not slow down, but keep serving God with the whole of your heart and you shall surely see his reward. God bless you. Uh, keep it here. If you've not liked our channel, please like, subscribe to our channel, uh, like our page on Facebook and share as well. Share to your friends and your family so that we all get blessed together. God bless you and see you next time. Thank you for joining us today. Please feel free to subscribe to our channels, like and share our videos. God bless you.